Roe versus Wade is a huge thing going on. With how sick the world is right now, do you think for one second that our government would actually be doing this if it wasn't to create chaos? If it wasn't to give reason for uprising and reason for the government to allow uprising to occur from the liberal side, again, like they did with Black Lives Matters? This is being done by design and on purpose. This is a government that does not care about anyone or anything. This is a government that is very pro abortion that all the governments have always been whether they tell you or not we all know the rituals that are done that involve children this has been going on for a long time okay Planned Parenthood of course Bill Gates's father on the on the council of that one of the leaders of Planned Parenthood what a surprise and then Bill is in the position he's in now these are all people who are in the occult they're practicing occult members and they pass their occult like practices onto society and they, and they normalize these things that would never be up for debate any other time period ever in the history of the world now they are just baiting people with this roe versus wade thing even though the result of whatever happens really doesn't mean anything but they don't care because it gives an excuse to create chaos and that's what this is about the government creating chaos the night of rage is what is going to occur this week according to reports the wall street journal report on it as did many other media outlets, a night of rage. If Roe versus Wade is overturned, they're saying that a night of rage will occur in D.C., which means protests and chaos. Now, we heard Biden talking on Jimmy Kimmel's show saying that pretty much if it's overturned, that they are, the government is promoting chaos occurring. They endorse it because it would be a crime against humanity. I mean, not, nothing to do with the kids is a crime against humanity, the, the unborn babies, but a crime against humanity when these people are talking about rights. But then when you talk about my body, my choice, as far as the magic potion goes, well, can't say that. That's not the same thing according to these morons. Well, this is a script right out of the purge. Let's start with the night of rage and what is being threatened in DC. Take a look. No decision yet from the Supreme Court when it comes to the future of Roe versus Wade, but that decision could be handed down as early as this Thursday. The millions are waiting to see what the future of abortion will be in this country. And one group claiming responsibility for vandalizing a pregnancy center in Asheville, North Carolina, and vandalizing a Minneapolis clinic. News Nation's investigative reporter Rich McHugh explains that the group called Jane's Revenge is vowing a night of rage if Roe is overturned. Federal authorities are investigating a wave of attacks across the country on pro-life crisis pregnancy centers, with a shadowy group calling itself Jane's Revenge claiming responsibility. In Buffalo, they firebombed Compass Care, which bills itself as a pro-life pregnancy resource center. In Asheville, North Carolina, they attacked mountain area pregnancy services, breaking windows, doors, spray painting and red graffiti, no forced birth, and if abortions aren't safe, neither are you. In Minnesota on June 15th, they attacked the Office of Minnesota Citizens Concerned for Life, the second attack on the office in a month. It is a night that is defining our country. Citizens, this will be a tradition we celebrate every year. Join the first purge. People are now calling this controversial experiment of legalized crime the purge. Is the purge a political device? It is a psychological one. If we want to save our country, we must release all our anger in one night. At the siren, all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 hours. There's a lot of... Your government thanks you for your participation. You're sending soldiers into the island disguised as citizens. This country needs for this to work. After tonight, nothing will ever be the same again. This country needs for this to work. After tonight, nothing will ever be the same again.